Hello and welcome to my channel, where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing Bath & Body Works' new Beveled Holiday Collection. Thank you so much for stopping by, and let's get started! The second holiday release I have from Bath & Body Works is the Beveled Collection, and I'm going to include a couple of standalone releases in this video as well. I've already reviewed the Festive Forest Collection, and I'll link that video in the description box if you want to check that out. And if you want to see mini reviews and a preview of what's coming up for review on my channel, you can join me over on Instagram at Claire in Bloom. There are three re-promoted scents in the Beveled Collection, but there's a fourth scent that was released earlier in the same packaging, so I'm going to include that as well. And I picked up all of the fragrance mists and one body lotion. This is another collection with no new scents, but it's still somewhat exciting to me because of some of the scents that they brought back. I think that the packaging is okay. It's similar to the faceted bottles, just with a different pattern. I like that they're at least mixing up the bottle design a bit instead of putting these in the standard faceted packaging, and I do like the jewel tones, which can feel a bit holiday-ish. I think if they had made the caps match the bottles, that would have been a nicer touch. The beveled collection includes Dark Kiss, described as a sweet, seductive night in. Dahlia, described as bright and floral with a dash of intrigue. You're the one, described as a sparkling, beautiful night with the one you love. And Champagne Toast, described as a fruity, sweet, sparkling spritzer. And I have the standalone scent Pure Wonder, described as a dreamy, warm, joyfully bright delight. And now let's get on to the reviews. The first scent in the collection is Dark Kiss, which comes in the purple beveled bottle. And this has notes of black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. And this opens with dark syrupy fruit that predominantly smells like raspberry, as well as a subtle rose. The vanilla is fresh and rich and adds a lot of sweetness, but the bergamot incense gives it a spicy woodiness. Over time, I feel like I get a bit of the plum, and there's a softly powdery quality as well. It also gets more musky as it dries and the other notes soften. To me, this is a sweet floral with syrupy raspberry and a kick of spice. And as the name would imply, it's a very dark and sultry scent. I've always liked Dark Kiss, and I think it makes a great evening or going out scent. I find it's also pretty strong and has a very perfumey quality. I'm not going to do a ton of comparisons in this video since none of these scents are new but I will compare them to their earlier versions. I have an older bottle of Dark Kiss, and it has the same notes of black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. I'm not really tied to the original packaging, but I do feel like it better represents the scent than the new bottle, which doesn't feel quite as dark. As far as the scent, they are pretty similar, but I feel like the older version has a deeper vanilla and a bit more spice while the new version has more of a musky, fruity quality. Perhaps the new one will sweeten over time. The next scent in the collection is Dahlia, which comes in the gold beveled bottle. And online, it says the notes are a beautiful blend of Dahlia petals, crisp pear, and praline. But on the bottle, the notes are velvet Dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, and whipped tonka bean. And this opens with a bright, fresh pear as well as the Dahlia. The floral has a slightly sharp edge that comes across as a bit green and almost sour. And as it dries, the pear and the floral soften, and the praline and tonka add a lot of creamy vanillic sweetness and a hint of a nutty, caramel-like quality. To me, this is a warm, fruity floral that turns into delicious, creamy praline and vanilla sweetness. And I feel like the dry down has a touch of powderiness that I really love. I don't usually love pear scents, but I really enjoy this one, as once it dries, the sweet notes are most prominent, but I do get whiffs of the pear and floral. When Chasing Fireflies came out recently, I didn't understand why they didn't just bring Dahlia back instead, because it does have a similar quality, but it's way more beautiful to me. I also picked up the body lotion for Dahlia, and I'm excited to have it because I didn't have a lotion to go with my original mist. The lotion starts out similar to the fragrance mist, 
with a fresh pear and soft floral note, and then it just gets sweeter. It's not as warm as the mist. It's very creamy and vanillic and feels a bit powdery. I think this is going to layer beautifully with the mist and add even more sweetness. I also wanted to mention that my bottle of lotion has what looks like a dark stain on the bottom that looks like vanilla or another dark ingredient pooled there a bit before I shook it up. And for comparison, I have the original version of Dahlia, which I believe came out in 2021. And it has the same notes of Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. And first off, I have to say that the new packaging just pales in comparison to the original. The beautiful flowers and brushed gold label on the original is stunning. So the new bottle, while similar in color, makes me kind of sad. I really wish they had brought back the original packaging, but I guess I should just be happy to have the scent back. And as far as the scent goes, I get the same pear opening and sharp floral in both versions, followed by the creamy sweetness. I do feel like there's a bit of a difference though, with the original having a more fluffy vanillic feel, while the new one has a more nutty powdery quality. The difference isn't enough for me to not still love it though, and I will be stocking up because I don't trust that Bath & Body Works will bring it back again anytime soon. The next scent in the collection is You're the One, which comes in the red bevel bottle. And this has notes of white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. And this opens with a prominent rose that feels fresh and a bit green. The strawberry is also present, and it has a sweet, slightly syrupy quality. It has a good amount of wittiness that feels sort of light, but the rose seems to be the star. And it feels like freshly picked dark red rose petals. The scent does have some sweetness, but I wouldn't call this a sweet scent as it's really more floral. To me, this is a woody floral that's dominated by rose and lightened by some sweet strawberry. While it has the strawberry nectar, it doesn't come across as super fruity. It's very strong and perfumey, so it's not a scent that I would wear often, as I consider it more of a special occasion fragrance, but I do think that it's pretty. And for comparison, I have an older version of You're the One, which has the same notes of white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. And for this one, I don't really mind the new packaging because I don't love the old one either. I do like that the old one is sparkly and has the frosted portion of the label. As far as the scent, it seems to be the same in both versions. If anything, I'm getting a tiny bit more strawberry in the older one, but to me, it's not a very discernible difference. And the last scent that I'm considering part of the collection is Champagne Toast which comes in the pinkish beveled bottle. And this has notes of bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. And this was actually released before the beveled collection, but the packaging is the same, so I thought I'd go ahead and include it. It opens very fruity, with a noticeable sparkling quality that has a hint of booziness to it. The berries have a sugary feel, and the tangerine is bright and juicy. To me, this is a very bubbly, fruity scent, and I feel like the berries are most prominent, and that the scent doesn't really change much as it dries. It's a classic Bath & Body Works scent, and it reminds me of berries soaked in champagne with dashes of bright citrus. And it is sweet in a fruity, slightly sugary way. And for comparison, I have one of the many previous versions of Champagne Toast, and this one comes in opaque, shimmery, faceted packaging and it has the same notes of bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. And these really smell the same to me. I think that Bath & Body Works puts out champagne toast so much that they have the formula down pat. Overall, for the beveled collection, I do really like all of the scents, and I see a bit of a theme with most of them being quite perfumey. I'm happy that they brought back some fan favorites, but I can't see how some might be disappointed that there's nothing new. I don't know that I need to rank these, but I can say that You're the One would be the one I reach for least, as I find the floral to be quite strong. I think that Champagne Toast is an easy reach, and Dark Kiss is really nice overall, but it's much more of a going out scent for me. And I think you can tell that Dahlia is by far my favorite, and I'm excited to finally be able to pick up the various products to go with my fragrance mist. And the last scent that I have, which was released individually, is pure wonder. 
and this has notes of ice rosé, star jasmine, and warm white amber. And again, this isn't part of the beveled collection and was re-released as a standalone scent. It opens with the jasmine, which is very fragrant and a bit sweet. I'm not quite sure how to interpret the iced rosé note, as it doesn't really feel alcoholic to me. It's more like they added a lightly bubbly, fruity syrup. The amber adds some sweetness and a lightly powdery quality, but the jasmine remains most prominent. To me, this is a subtly sweet white floral with amber and a fruity touch. It is quite floral, and while it's hard to describe, I do see how the scent feels a bit wintry. I don't wear this one much as it is a bit strong, but I do think that it's a nice scent. And for comparison, I have the older version of Pure Wonder, which has the same notes of Ice Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. And for once, I think I actually prefer the new packaging. They're pretty similar, but I like the iridescent snowflake design on the new bottle, which makes it feel wintry. And as far as the scent, they smell very similar to me. The older version seems a tad bit stronger, but otherwise, they seem pretty much the same. So that's it for my review of the Beveled Holiday Collection from Bath & Body Works. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to give any of them a try. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.